question. What does what's going on right now at this very moment in South Carolina have to do with Operation Hope? Does it have anything to do with Operation Hope? Well, absolutely it does. Right now, there's almost 3,000 calls of people in South Carolina because of the flooding that's happening that essentially are having these distress type calls. They're distressed, they're concerned, they're stuck in their home and they can't get out. They have been out of their home for a day or two and they can't get back to their home. They're staying with friends and their family. They're not able to go to work. So things are economically being shut down. However, there's still bill collectors out there calling for their bill payments. There's insurance claims that need to be dealt with in terms of how much money are you gonna get from your insurance company, if anything at all? Does your insurance claim actually cover the damages that have resulted from the flood? Or FEMA, the governor just declared it, verbally declared it, a national disaster. So the president is gonna step in and declare that and provide FEMA support. So how do the house, what does that mean to the household? Does that mean financial support? Does that mean water support? Walmart contributed 80,000 bottles to those individuals of water and then on standby, but there also might be some money that people might be able to get to get them back on their feet. Well, all of these things have a financial implication to them. And that's what Hope Coalition of America does. Hope Coalition of America is essentially that division of hope that deals specifically with these specific types of, of, of disasters, fires, floods, tornadoes, all these things, natural disasters, man-made disasters, maybe terrorist attacks, fire or, or individuals from ha hazard attacks, anything that's considered a disaster, a natural disaster, hope comes into play and says, you know what, we want to assist you in your recovery process. We want to assist you and get on the phone with your insurance claim and look over your policy, making sure that we can help you negotiate how much you're actually going to get paid, if anything at all. We want to assist you with negotiating on behalf of your bill collectors. We want to assist you in making sure that you get all the funds that have been allocated to your community through FEMA and any other grant in terms of support services. We want to make sure you're getting this information and getting access to those actual tangible dollars to get you back on your feet again. We want to help you put together a disaster budget to make sure that as moving forward, we can get you back on your feet. Now, before these things even happen, we have this thing called emergency financial first aid kit, okay? This is free of charge. None of these services we charge you for, by the way, but this particular has been sponsored by FEMA. And what we do essentially is we uh, partner with FEMA, print these out, and we disseminate these. And we do, we give these out electronically. We give these out uh, hand in hand. You can get them mailed to you, all these things. Call us up. The number is right in the description below. But these things are given out and filled out ideally before this disaster hits. So let's just say that we're living in South Carolina. And for those families that are, are being uh, troubled and put out of their house by the flood, all they would have to do is pull out this book because this book would have been filled out with tons of information, checklists and forms, household identification needs, all of the things that you have to be concerned with financially are covered right inside this book. So it's a beautiful thing. It's called preparedness. You need to prepare yourself for in case sometimes, sometimes like this actually happens. And so I'm sure that many folks in South Carolina, they said it was a thousand year event and they never would have thought that something like this would have happened. Well, guess what it did. And we never know where the next disaster is gonna happen. So at Operation Hope, we head by Oliver Bell and Jason Yancey, they're doing some great work. So give us a call, let us assist you. We have counselors all across the country that are trained to provide these documents to you and get you prepared. Because disasters like this, you never know, it does not only happen in South Carolina, I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and in Detroit, there was a lot of flooding in Detroit, never would have thought about it. Alabama, uh, tornadoes, we helped a lot of folks down there, helped uh, almost 200,000 people in Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Sandy. There are disasters, different earthquakes and all those things. All these things are happening all the time, so we want you to be prepared, and we want you to fill out your emergency financial first aid kit. We also have a, pre, uh, a, a, a PDPG, a, a post-disaster preparedness guide, or pre-disaster preparedness guide, rather. So all the, we want you to fill these documents out to prepare yourself, and then, in case something does hit, we want you to call us, and just give us a call. It's free 99, it doesn't cost you a dime, the, the bill's been paid by our sponsors and dollars, we're always looking for more sponsors and dollars to support this initiative and, and support this movement. So please give us a call. The, the membership and all the information is on our website below. And we're looking for additional support.
from anyone out there. Again, a lot of folks need this help, and we hope that you can help us give it to them or get this help yourself. Talk to yourself.